Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And then on today's video, we are analyzing Crash 500. And then we are going to start on the daily chart of which is the 24 hour chart. And then if you look left, you'll see that we have been pushing to the downside for the longest. Is because we have this corrective move here. We have this impulse corrective move, impulse corrective move, impulse corrective move, impulse larger corrective move and then we have this impulse to the downside so i'm initially looking for buying opportunities up until like a certain area where the market will react in some type of way and then as you can see here we have this overall descending channel around this point here and then there are some variations that i'm looking at like on this uh, instrument just because we have this mini double bottom around this area here this area here of which is on the daily chart and then we came in a form of a descending channel as you can see here and then a descending channel is a reversal pattern to push to the upside and then another scenario that i'm looking at on this one is the way that price pushed to the upside the way price reacted with this double bottom or a w formation around this point here we had like a nice push to the upside of which is signaling that we can have like a strong momentum whereby we can reach like this area here for us to initially sell off from there or we can initially sell off from this area here so we can have like short-term buys up until like a certain area of which is the double top or the outer structure uh momentum where we can like take those selling opportunities and then if you look left you'll see that we have an overall descending channel whereby we have uh this as our first touch around this point this as our second touch and then we have a near miss around here so for us to look for those short-term buys and and long-term selling opportunities is for us to complete like the that touch around here maybe in a form of a descending channel whereby we can look for those long-term buys to come back and retest and push to the upside so that is how i'm looking at uh crash 500 on the daily chart and then we can push to a lower time frame whereby we just analyze it further and then we build like a picture so that we can take like good entries so let's switch to a four hour chart so we are on the four hour and then on the four hour chart we are going to focus like on the current market structure of which it's this area here and then we have a nice double bottom around this area and then now i'm going to draw like the overall structure coming from this area here up until like the lows and then another one would be around this point here just like this so we have this kind of price action and then i always say that you should uh, just try and draw out like the overall structures that you see like in your patterns you, should, you, must, you must draw like your patterns just to uh, train your mind when you see like this type of patterns playing out and then we have this high here of which the market is currently at that high and then we can look for short-term selling opportunities just because already we have that mark uh mass psychology activation and then remember i said on the daily chart we can have like a third touch sell off whereby we get the third touch before we can look for buying opportunities from there so what we're going to wait for is a clear impulse to the upside breaking this lower low here and then we look for those buying opportunities from here maybe in a form of a corrective move and then we buy from there so that is how i'm looking at it on the four hour chart and then let me just remove a few of those things here so you can just put like a an arrow or something let me just do this you can just put a box here just to remind you that we can look for those buying opportunities from here whereby you can take like short-term sales from here and then you take long-term buys from here to this point here so that's how you can do it and then on the hour let's check the hour for some entries and some some more refined like uh patterns so we are on the hour chart so on the hour that is where the market is currently now around this point here and then remember i said for us to look for buying opportunities we need to break like this area here we need to get like a convincing push to the upside come back and retest and then we look for those buys from there and then the reason why i use like uh your support and resistant your break and retest on uh these instruments is because they are very volatile to a point whereby you don't get like those tight flags 
where you can like get nice entries. As you can see in this point here, we had some type of a break and retest around this point. And then the market tapped this area for the longest of time. It became support, it became resistant, resistant at some point. And then as you can see, we have the break, come back, retest, and then we buy. So that is why I use like support and resistant on this area. Uh, also uh, adding like some patterns in this uh, type of trading style. And then we have another area whereby I can just do this. And then we have this descending channel here. And then the descending channel also has like some type of an inverse head and shoulders to it, whereby this is the right shoulder. Then that is where you buy, come back, retest, and then we look for those buying opportunities. And then let me just do this, uh, remove a few of those. So now we are in this area here. And then for us to look for selling opportunities, uh, I'm just going to illustrate like a few scenarios where I'm going to take like the entry. So we have this ascending channel around this point here. Let me just do this. And then now I'm catering like for the current market structure of which it's this area here, like this. This is the ascending channel that we have. And then we have like a pattern, but then a pattern on it. Let me just do this. And then we have a pattern within a pattern at the top of the structure, just like this. So what we can do for us to be like on the safe side when taking like this entry here. And then as you all know, crash, uh, crash instruments always uh, push to the downside very impulsively. So we can place like a sell stop just below here, or we can wait for a break around this point here. Some just because sometimes you'll get that uh, crash and boom and crash uh, instruments, they don't like take uh, pending orders. You'll get that the market will push down, but you're not tagged into the trade just because they are very impulsive. So you can just wait for the break of this uh, ascending channel around this point, maybe a young retest, and then you look for those selling opportunities up until this area here, the 90% rule. Up until the 90% rule, don't aim for that uh, third touch on the daily chart, but rather you aim for this uh, low here or the 90% of which it's doable. You can just wait for this type of pattern to work out and then you look for those selling opportunities. And then for you to scale in, let's say maybe you want to scale in, let's say, let's just wait up until we break this area here. Then that is when you can just look for that scale in after the retest. And then we look for the sell up to here. And then if the market decides to reach like the lows around this point here, then you can further analyze it whenever the market reaches like this point. That is when you can further analyze for you to take like some more selling opportunities from there. So that is it for today's video. Remember to subscribe. Remember to click the notification bell and drop a comment of uh, the video where you like the video, where you got like some good information. And I'll see you on another video, guys. It's your boy. Peace out.